In this video, I'm going to have a look at another one of the worst loadouts you can use in Battlefield 1. I'll focus on the assault class this time, choosing the most useless combination of primary weapon, secondary weapon, and gadgets. Let me know what the worst assault loadout is in your opinion down in the comments. So first of all, let's start out with what the assault class is for. Before we get into what the worst weapon is, we should first look at what you're trying to achieve when playing the class. All the gadgets in the assault class are aimed at taking down tanks, behemoths and buildings, so close range would seem the best idea for the highest success. I know the rocket gun has a little more range on it, but even that is the most effective at close to mid range in my opinion. That means the weapons you are using have to be effective and reliable in close quarter engagements because if they are not, you'll get torn apart by other assault players who get their loadouts right. Even if you're the best player in the world, choosing the incorrect weapon or choosing one that is rubbish will put you at a disadvantage. I spent a few hours looking into the amount of people that actually use each weapon in the assault class on the PC version of Battlefield 1. The information I got showed me how many people used each individual weapon and that gave me a pretty good idea of which ones were unpopular and from there I could then narrow it down to some of the worst guns in the class. Of course weapons like the Automatico, Model 10A and Hellregal were mega popular and whether you love them or hate them they are super effective and there's no denying that. Even the defensive variant of the Hellregal was pretty popular and I for one didn't really see the point in it but I am looking for the worst gun in the class not one that's just pretty bad. The 12 gauge shotguns all got a lot of hate with the backboard being the most unpopular. I also noticed a lot of hate going towards the Model 1900 Slug and the MP18 Experimental. Let's take a look at the MP18 Experimental in a bit more depth. I'm not a fan of this weapon for a few reasons. Firstly, I believe the other two variants do a better job complementing my playstyle and are far more effective at the sort of ranges I find myself in when using the Assault class. Even when I try to play at a better range for the Experimental, I'm still finding myself getting taken out by other variants of the same weapon, Hellregals and also Automaticos. The smart choice would be to take something else. The weapon bounces around a lot if you spam fire and in order to be effective you have to take your time between bursts, but with the fast paced nature of Battlefield 1, I often find myself in a position where I need to take two or more enemies out really quickly and the Experimental is just not up to the task. If you've ever played with this gun before, you'll notice that it has a burst fire pattern, which in itself isn't too much trouble. The problem is when you have, say, four enemies in front of you, which often happens if you're running the assault class and you're rushing an objective, and you don't really have the skill in order to take them out and hit every single shot. If you were using the trench variant, or if you were using maybe an Automatico or a Hellregal, the more popular guns in the class, you'd definitely be able to take those four enemies down, or at least have a better chance to. I think the experimental would only work if you were playing a very, very passive game, getting yourself in positions where you weren't in close range combat at all really with any other assault players and more taking out people at a bit of range. If I was looking to take people out of range though, I definitely wouldn't run with the MP18 experimental, I'd switch it up to the medic class, or if I had to stick with the assault class, I'd just take the Hellregal. Now onto the 12G automatic shotguns. These are some of the least used weapons in the Assault class, and I can see why. They are terrible at doing what a shotgun should do, one-shot kill enemies at close range. I seem to find that the best this thing could do was 92 damage at close range, meaning I would constantly get taken down by enemies who opted to take a different weapon to me. One versus two situations? Forget about it, unless you're a god with aiming. The 12G Auto Hunter is not the worst, but it is still a pain to use due to its two-shot kill, and this will often get you in a lot of trouble at close range. I use the shotgun because I want to one-shot people at close range, so for me it renders the thing completely useless, especially when you stack it up against a Model 10A. The fact the Hunter has slightly better range than the backboard does make it less frustrating to use than the backboard, so for that reason it cannot be the worst gun in the class. The backboard gets the accolade for me. I tried the extended version of the weapon for a bit and came to a similar conclusion. It sucks, but you get more rounds meaning you can spam it and often rescue a bad situation. As you can tell from the footage in the background, I didn't really enjoy using this gun, and for me it is the worst in class. It's not the best weapon overall, it's not even the best shotgun in the class, and for me you can do a better job picking anything else in the whole entire assault class. Let me know in the comments if you think this is the worst gun in the class, I think it needs some work looking at it, 
especially as hardly anyone's using it and it doesn't actually do anything different to any of the other guns. Maybe I've made a mistake here and I'm using it incorrectly, but I really do feel like the 12G automatic shotgun backboard variant is a terrible, terrible weapon. Another weapon that I really didn't find that useful was the SMG08-18 Factory. It wasn't terrible, and I felt it offered another alternative to the Hellregal if you wanted a gun with a large magazine size and decent capabilities at medium range. However, it just isn't as good as the Hellregal. Let me know down in the comments if you tried the SMG Factory and let me know what you think about it. I know it is a DLC gun, so I can't really say it's the worst gun in class if not everyone has the chance to use it. It's kind of unfair to use statistics on a gun that is locked behind a paywall. As for gadgets in the Assault class, I feel as if DICE didn't really give you an opportunity to choose things that aren't effective, and that for me is a positive. In Battlefield 4, you could pick all sorts of crazy gadgets. It did make for some entertaining gameplay and videos, but it wasn't actually that useful. All gadgets in Battlefield 1 cause massive damage to vehicles, and even when I decided to go with anti-tank mines and dynamite in an attempt to lower the damage I could do to infantry, I still found ways of utilising it. With the secondary weapon, I could go for anything, as in Battlefield 1, the Calibri is the worst by far. But it's unfair to pick that as the worst weapon, as it's not really designed to be a good weapon, it's more of just a joke by the developers. For that reason, I just tried not to use my secondary while playing. I feel as though all the secondaries can do a pretty decent job. If you were picking a revolver, maybe you could have more trouble because of the longer reloads, but apart from that, I feel as if they all have their place. So overall, this is my worst loadout. A loadout that only an idiot would take after watching this video and pretend that it was good. But trust me, I'm sure there are some people out there that swear this is the best loadout ever and that I'm wrong. For the primary, you would have to choose the 12G Auto Batboard. It's the worst shotgun in the class in my opinion and annoys the hell out of me whenever I use it. The fact hardly anyone uses it on the PC version of the game, at least, is almost enough to condemn it totally and the video evidence in the background should be enough to complete the job. For a secondary, you want to take the Calibri as it's the worst gun in terms of damage, but to be honest, you'll be dead far before you need to use it. Take whatever gadgets you like, as they're all pretty decent in the Assault class, but running with anti-tank mines and dynamite seems to be the most ineffective on infantry-based maps. As always, run a smoke grenade to reduce the chances of you getting a kill with the massively overpowered grenades in Battlefield 1. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. I'm going to be doing one of these videos for every single class in Battlefield 1, making up four total classes of the worst loadouts in the game and then testing them. I tend to do most of the testing on stream. If you are watching my streams, then most days around 5 or 6 p.m. I stream for a couple of hours on YouTube. You should get a notification in your sub box if you're subscribed. If you're not, you could click the notification bell and then that, of course, would try and bypass this broken sub box system that YouTube has. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.